your bank has been selected as the best uh, bank in India. Can we start by saying what this award means uh, for the bank? Well, I think the award, uh, in a way, is is uh, very humbling, and it's uh, you know I feel very happy uh, to receive this award. I think it's a recognition of what the team has put in place um, to make the bank what it is, and I always believe that any such recognition is also a big responsibility because it means that uh, we are setting standards and that we should continue to keep setting standards. What would you say is the strength of the bank, especially for an international audience, if you had to say what is the strength of your bank? Uh, you know, the biggest strength is the very, very strong capital adequacy. Our uh, tier one capital adequacy ratio is uh, close to 14%, which probably makes it the strongest, uh, you know, one of the strongest amongst the world. Um, the second is, uh, you know, clearly our efforts to improve our profitability and return on assets. And in the last three years, if you see, our return on assets has moved up from being less than 1% to almost close to 1.6%. And uh, that has been really possible because of the strength that we have created in our deposits profile and in our quality of assets. And I think the third set of strength arises just from the opportunities going forward. I think as India grows, uh, you know, the banking industry will continue to grow. But a bank like ours, which is a truly universal bank and is strong both in consumer finance, SME and in corporate finance, will have a lot of opportunities to grow. From an Indian perspective, what is what is the feeling that you have? We're so used to talk about Europe these days, but now there is also talk about the effect that the crisis is having on emerging markets. What can you give us a little bit of an Indian perspective on this? Uh, well, I think uh, you know today's world is quite connected, so one cannot say that anything that happens anywhere else does not impact the other countries. But Having said that, um, I think when you are in such global forums, you realize that for a country like India, there is still a lot of the domestic strengths that we have. Uh, we have our demographic dividend and we have the entire consumption side of the story, which continues to remain very strong. So in that sense, I think this is the time where we need to harness on our strengths and we need to make sure we work on those because, you know, uh, whatever is the, the lack of growth, so to say, on account of global factors, we need to more than make that up on account of domestic factors and we have the potential to do it if we take the right steps. So I think it just, uh, you know, is a reminder of the strengths that we have in the country and actually in a way a reminder to say we need to keep acting to harness those strengths. So the other thing I think s since I'm in Tokyo, I believe that there is a lot that um, India and Japan can do together. And, uh, you know, uh, there are, of course, a lot of Japanese companies that are operating in India, but there are many more who are looking at increasing their presence in India. And a bank like ours can actually play a big role in, in um, you know, again, growing that relationship.